Hello, I'm Fernando Mercedes from Trend Micro's FTR team, and I'm here to show you how vulnerable internet connected devices like this one can be when either you or your ISP don't pay attention to security. What I have here is a typical home router device. It has an ADSL connection and also a wireless antenna. Devices like this are usually responsible for providing internet to all the internet co connected devices at home and therefore any attacks targeting the, these devices can have a big impact on all users, all home users. We've done a full research and we've published a paper called Securing Your Home Router where we cover many different attack scenarios against devices like this and I'll show you one of them where attackers use malware to change the DNS settings of these devices. So let's start. If we go to the administration page of your home router, in this case, that's the IP address. The default credentials are admin, admin. So admin as username and also admin as password which is part of the problem, but that's not specific to this vendor, but instead let's use it for a lot of uh, home routers, different ones. You can see here that the DNS server settings are actually automatically uh, set. That means that the ISP is going to provide the DNS settings here that we, we don't see in this screen, but the internet access is working as, uh, as as expected so we can open any social network website for example and everything is working as expected but if the user access any infected web page like this one this page is infected with a JavaScript code and this script is responsible for changing the DNS settings of the router. How the script does that? Well, it basically is uses the same uh, default credentials. Most of the users, they don't change the credentials. So that's part of the problem. After seeing this page, the script runs and if you go So after visiting the infected web page, if we go again to the router administration page, we can see that the DNS IP address has changed. In this case, the script changes the DNS server to 100.100.100.100, which makes now the, all the DNS requests go to this DNS server, which is usually owned by the attacker. So what happens now is if any user tries to access, let's say, the same website, the user is going to be redirected to a fake one. And of course, the criminals use very similar ones in order to capture the, the victim's credentials. That can be made for online banking websites, social networks, email websites, and any kind of websites. So this is a DNS changing attack, which is very powerful. The user just needs to see a page or maybe click on an email attachment and everything is done. There is no malware uh, installed in the victim system. So it's very hard for any protection software to detect this kind of attack. If you want to know more about the possible attack scenarios for home routers and also know how to protect your environment from this kind of attacks, read our paper. I can guarantee there is a lot of good information there, very useful for home network administrators. Attacks like these are very dangerous and they affect all the devices connected to your home network. So don't waste any more time and make your home network safer now.